Happy February. <laughs> oh, I've got bumps. Oh, I got a big bump. <laughs> you look, it looks good. I mean, it doesn't it's matter, good. but it's like, an, I like remember when it's I was in sixth grade, oh my gosh, like this, you know, it was when like you wore your hair like super slicked back and like bumps. Oh my gosh, like bumps. Oh, yeah. You I would bumps. have a meltdown. I would have meltdowns going to school and being like, I can't, like, I can't get my bumps, my bumps. And I remember I used to put so many clips in my hair to try to keep the bumps back. Mm -hmm. And that's why my mom was afraid I was going to get an ulcer at 12 years old. Because <laughs> those were like daily occurrences. You can still be kind of anxious. I'm very, I'm very, I'm a very anxious person. So this is the February request video. And um, we do have really big news. Um, so Karen has found an amazing full-time job yes um so yeah, you go um so prior to redbird i worked in events and it's always been something that i've loved doing even while i mean you guys didn't know this but even while working at redbird i had a stint where i was working um in tandem with events as well and basically an opportunity came up that i did not want to pass up so like I, I'm shifting now back into the, not the work, like this is still the workforce. It's still kind a full-time, you know, kind of. so, um, but I'm going into, um, events full-time, which, um, uh, has then, you know, made us really kind of so restructure, going, yeah, restructure the way Redbird shift. is going to be. Um, and so, so the, the main thing is that, um, if you are a Loreen subscriber, um, this is going to be the last month for the typical Loreen's. There are lots of reasons for this. And this is actually a long time coming and it might have yeah. come anyways, even if Karen hadn't found another job. Um, if you're a Loreen subscriber and um, you want your $100 plus shipping Loreen box this month, you need to be a charge now and it needs to be a charge now by the 5th of the month. Um, and then Karen is going to mm -hmm. get all those finished and um this and is this is because i will be starting this position mm -hmm. mid-month yeah so um so then that way to help alleviate some stress on sarah um it, it has to be a charge now so yeah. we understand and we appreciate your understanding your patience mm -hmm. on this um so that we are able to get your box out early and um and then the remaining loreens um we're going to go ahead and we're going to end up canceling um, and some of you, some of you are on our new site already. So we do have a new site, um, redbirdvintage.com and, um, it is a new hosting site. We made this decision because, um, if you are, if you're a subscriber who just subscribed within the last couple of months, chances are you had issues subscribing. And, um, this has been an ongoing issue with the hosting site that we were currently on. And, um, and we have reached out multiple times and, um, I mean, it's literally been almost a year now, yeah. but I feel like every month we have issues with this. We talk to them about it. They tell us that it's something that we've done, which we don't do they're anything. Like, you did something and, to um, the coding. And I'm like, I don't know how to code. Like, we don't know how to do that. <laughs> and, um, and about? then it never fails that within like a few, like a week or so, it just magically works itself out. But they're never able to tell us why that they'll like reach out again and be like, oh, hey, did you get that problem fixed? And it's like, yeah, we don't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. We don't know what was happening. And it got to be really frustrating. We were losing um, people from it. So so we are switching over to the new site probably in a couple months now. And um, and so that's just it's just redbirdvintage.com. And um, we'll probably eventually loop the Redbird Vintage box, redbirdvintage.com as well once we completely get rid of the site. But um, with the Loreen, what's going to happen is that it's going to become a one-time purchase. And the one-time purchase is going to be $150, which sounds, I know, you know, it's $50 but, more. Yeah. Um, that as well has been a long time coming. I think that, um, you know, if you're reading any articles, the, the whole thing going around right now is, hey, if you got, you know, a raise this year if it wasn't at least 30 percent then you know you are not matching inflation um everything has gone up we've talked about how the clothing prices have gone up um you know shipping has gone up gas has gone gas up. gas has gone up everything everything has gone up and um and we we've, we've tried to kind of do different things to keep our prices as same as possible but um 
but the the truth of everything is that unless I'm making about 20% profit, then it's not worth it. Um, it. It's just not, you know, I think that time is, is worth a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. And, um, and by raising the price, we're able to purchase better clothing items, which, um, you know, if you've been with us, you know, that we, we bought a ton of stuff from that, um, it's vintage shop that was going out of business that has spoiled us seeing those kinds of items. Um, and, um, and we want to continue to purchase those kinds of items, but unfortunately those kinds of items we're not finding at thrift shops. Um, we're just not, and uh, we can't continue doing the Lorene for a hundred dollars and you know putting that many items in there um at the prices that those clothing items mm -hmm. typically are um so that just it just it is what it is we, it we, is what we, it is we hate raising the prices of things but um you know so that's what it'll be yeah. and then and uh, it's going to be a one-time purchase mm -hmm. and those are going to just be released based on my availability to shop mm -hmm. um and um and put it all together and um and it's you know where it's not even gonna have like a specific amount of items you know it's like two to four items of clothing four to six items of jewelry but it's if you've been with jewelry. us if yeah. you've been with us like you know we're gonna make it so that you're gonna be wowed it's gonna be amazing and I'm I'm excited I'm excited to um to shop higher end type items um for the Marie's um you know eventually you will all move over to the new site if you're wanting to stay with us again we'll we'll keep it on create joy for um for another couple months but um but we'll send out emails yeah and we'll things send like out that emails and do all that and um and moving forward with clothing marie's can request clothing but it will always have to be it, it's not going to be a style situation it's going to be if you see something in the request video that you love go ahead and request it um and um and you know put your measurements in with it but um but it's not going to be a styled type situation so we won't be shopping for clothing mm -hmm. specifically for marie's we will only be doing specific clothing shopping for the lorene's and mm -hmm. um and it's almost like going back to our roots where when we first started it was it was really personalized i think we only have like maybe five subscribers that have been with us from the beginning where it was super super like really very very even more personalized than mm -hmm. it is now um and the thing with the new site is going to be that you cannot skip. You can cancel at any time, but you're not able, the new hosting site does not allow you to skip months, which is something that, you know, that stinks because we really like that feature with um, Create Joy, but it, it you know. You, you'll you still get the yeah. same emails that come out prepping you. Mm -hmm. um, oh, actually, no, because your renewal date is always the day you sign up. Yeah, and that's the other thing. So your renewal date will be the date that you the sign up. The day that you sign up. So so, um, so whenever you sign up, that will be your renewal date. And um, we're still sending out emails after you sign up. Like, even if you're with us right now and you've been with us forever and you sign up on the new site, we're going to send you another email. that And, you know, that just says, you know, your new renewal date is, is today. And this is the day that you sign up. Um, and we're not able to, you know, switch that around or anything with the new site. Um, but again, I would rather that than have to go through, you know, 15 emails a month of people like, Hey, I'm getting an error code yeah. on your website because that's just, it's just, it's really frustrating. And that's the 15 people that reached out to us. Who yeah. knows how many people reached out and they were like, I don't have time to, I don't have time for yeah. this. Cause that, that's how I would be. I would too. I'd be like, I'd be uh, like not be or, or, I, or I'd be like, oh, um, I'll worry about this later. And then I'll, yeah, and then I completely forget. forget. Um, okay. I, I mean, I think, I think that's it mm -hmm. for the updates. Um, if for some reason we missed something and, um, you know, check that, check the newsletter that's going out this mm -hmm. month. Cause it's going to have all of that information. It's going to have the link to direct you to the new site, um, so that you can make that transition. The um, new site has a very small survey that, um, go ahead and fill it out because you might have new information anyways, but if you are a current subscriber, then we can go ahead and we can take your information from your profile and put that into the new site. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I don't think so. Let's get going on this request video. All right. And so again, um, Instagram items will be posted as well on the first, um, and just screenshot everything you love here and on Instagram and send it in one email to info at rivervintagebox.com with your name and, um, 
in your request. And if you want to be a charge now, go ahead and say, I want to be a charge now. Um, if you're a Marie and you want to be a charge now, you could honestly go over to the new site and just sign up and it'll charge oh, you right yeah. away. Um, so you could do that. Um, and Laureen's, you know, we'll have to charge you automatically. Yeah. Automatically. And then, um, I just had something and it escaped me. Mm. Crud. Um, great. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it had something to do with the charge nows. Um, but whatever. I'm sure it'll come back. I didn't get very much sleep last night. I didn't either. Uh, sleep. <laughs> Chloe, my little dog, got um, fixed. And so she's in, she's like little paperweights. She's in, you know, the little, the little sock or whatever to keep her from, from itching herself. And so she's been sleeping with us for the past week and she'll be with us for another, um, and you know, I thought that we had gotten rid of both of these. We did. So I had one in a box and then they didn't, their payment didn't go through. Oh. So then I took it okay, out. So we have one of these. So again. A, lot a lot of, of people you. requested these. Yeah. So we have another one left. Um, yeah. And so it's, you know, and it's, and it's kind of fun cause it's been really cold here in Florida. So it's kind of fun to have her like all snuggled up, but, um, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to sleep sometimes when you have a little, this smells a little bit of smoke. Definitely. But, um, okay, so it has, like, I'm maybe maybe I'm going crazy, but um, teeny tiny, am I? I mean, I smell leather. I don't smell smoke. Okay, well then. Yeah, I mean, I smell, like, a leathery smell, but. Okay. I don't know. I but had COVID, and it messed up my sense of smell a little bit, so who knows. This does have some damage. It's, like, paint right here, and then there's just some fading, but. Ooh, and then a mirror. A little cut glass. Um, juice glasses. This is also just slightly faded, but... I think we showed this last month, too. Super, We did. A lot of this is from last month, I think. Uh, right? Some of it is from last month. I realized that a lot of that porcelain stuff was just going to shatter oh. in the like, mail. Um, perfume. Did you see that I made the purchase from Andrea? No. So there's a huge, huge vintage and antique jewelry lot coming in um, Thursday, I think. So I'm very excited about that. But these, you're a plumber. Yeah, cufflinks. Sarah sent the, that picture and she was like, do we know anyone? <laughs> sugar bowl sugar dish um we have some gloves left lots of gloves so these uh, these are all the same okay and then i'm just pulling like a la carte so these are like you know the fingerless you put your fingers through them type situation these are long and have buttons and that's more cream these are short and white so if you're requesting gloves, if you can just specify and be like, hey, the ones that, you know, were long and white or the ones that were long and cream, because um, sometimes the screenshots, it, it can be uh, difficult to, Gray. Um, to see. Short black fabric. Those are like the, a faux leather. Almost looks like eel skin. Leather look. Short, white. Oh, these are cute. The little bows. Short cream. That's the same as bows. Long ruched brown. Long ruched sea foam green. Those are the same as those. Short cream. Long. Are these long brown? Those are long chocolate. Brown. Okay. Oh, are you all done? Yeah. Oh, here, do you want to do this? These little babies? Okay. Ready pajamas? Yeah, we, those have been sitting. I love these. These are like extra, extra small. Damaged. 
they are pajamas, but it is like an extra, extra small. We showed these a couple months ago. Yeah. Um, but um, I, yeah, they were they were you know on the because I know we gave some out. I think we gave some out that were more like a medium, but these are so cute. Yeah. If these were shorter, I would keep these for Julia. I think they're really small. Um, and then I'm gonna show some belts. Um, so if you're a Lorena or Marie, just you know keep this in mind regarding the measurement because um, I'm probably just gonna toss it in. Um, and these have a little belt that goes with them. And again, these are gonna be small, extra small. And they have pants that go with them. Cute. This one's going to be a 32 to a 38 inch waist. Very lightweight. This is going to be for a 28. Ooh, 28. I love this one. Gosh, will this one fit me? I don't think so. This one, maybe. This one, um, gold metal elastic, 29 to 33. 29 to 33 inch waist. This fun, funky kind of Western coral. Where are you going? Did something get delivered? Oh! Wait, did you DoorDash Starbucks? No, I DoorDash Panera. Oh, Panera. Not eating at Starbucks. Um, okay. This is a 38, 38 to 41. Um, it could actually go smaller than 38, but um, that's where the, the hooks go. There you go. Ooh. Um, I'm actually not sure how this one, oh, I guess maybe you just tie it, this rope with shells is up to a 48. So, um, so you just tie, tie it, it's rope. So up to a 48. Mm, excuse me. Two more guys, two more. And then we'll move on to scarves. I put up some more scarves this, too because I've taken a bunch home to iron. Oh. So there are going to be some scarves on Instagram too that are like the, like the head scarves. Oh. So this is um, lightweight chain um, up to a 36, up to a 36 waist. And then this last one, silver chain with pearl. is up to a 39, up to a 39. There we go. Let's look at some scarves. Oh, we want to do this, this. Oh, so a couple months ago, what we, right. you know, we order our boxes and, you know, in like a thousand at a time. And we got, I don't know, what is it, like 20? Oh God, I think I want to say like, it could be upwards of, no. There's so many that are not. Are those that are not folded messed up too? Yeah. Okay, so, so probably like 30 or 40 of them ended up like this. Um, it's a printing issue. We've just kind of been holding on to them. Um, we feel weird just throwing them away because obviously they work. Um, you know, I guess we'll wrap presents in them moving forward too. Like oh, that's true. But, but if you're like, yeah, if you don't ooh. care and you're like, yeah, don't throw that away. I'll take it. I'll take it. This, yeah. guys, who wants one of these limited edition? One of a kind. One of a kind, <laughs> but also the same. We'll draw um, something on it for woo! you. Yeah. We could draw something funny on it. We will. I don't know. It depends. You guys. Maybe we'll put stickers we'll on it. I have a lot of stickers. We'll see. Um, what our our bandwidth is yeah. <laughs> um if you want if you want one just write it in your in your request email and then that'll help us not feel like we're just wasting destroying the world yeah wasting these boxes so okay um, um i'll go okay. and i'll film you with the okay scarves
Okay, scarves. Scarves. Oh, beautiful pastel, plaid, floral. Um, this one, which has um, the um, astrology. Um, astrology. And it, this one I thought had a spot or two, but nothing horrifying. Yeah. Okay. This one's just fun and funky. Leopard print crushed velvet. Beautiful green with fruit. Vibrant green floral. This one is French with fleur de lis. Um, this one's two tones. It's kind of a thicker material. Yeah. Um, where am I at? Where am I at? This one has got, it's like a rodeo scene. This is, you know, it's hound's tooth with, you know, gold. This one is perfect for baby, like baby doll toys purses fun in the sun beach all different faces pink and red floral wait no I no think it's just, it's like just a, a design like a paint I don't know why I thought it was like a big chartreuse paisley psychedelic blue the Hawaiian tropical blue geometric yellow navy and white um this is a silk, butterfly. silk butterfly long so now we're on long scarves those were um square scarves well I think it's mixed in um long red paisley long tassels that matches you oh my gosh i guess you don't have tassels never mind i thought it was tassels. um uh, uh t two for tea here um it looks like like a you know books and tea cups plaid stirrups more um you know stirrup this is a square scarf a magenta with presents yeah. lined. How about some teddy bears? Cute teddy bears. No, I want to be like, not so cute teddy bears. <laughs> Fun Western blues. Um, this one's ballerinas, sheer ballerinas. That's hard to see. Yeah. Peach polka dots, fun and funky um, 60s design. Um, this one is travel, you know, um, sheer binoculars, suitcases, postcards, calendars, leopard print, green. Um, this right here, it, it kind of looks like, tr oh, it's trees. And so this is a Vera scarf and I oh, yeah. I get what it what it looks like trees it. um yeah it does look like trees. trees red I mean it's not house tooth but it looks like, looks like, it, like kind houndstooth. of polka dot sheer polka dot um fun and funky head scarf this one is Rome small square Lots of different, all, all of your uh, big spots in Rome. Love the colors on this one. Yellows and pinks. Another um, psychedelic red. This one is um, a large um, scarf with keys. Um, this one is floral with some Asian influence. Um, oh my gosh, look, it's like little sh brown strawberries. This is a long scarf. Um, this is another long scarf. It looks like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> um, love this one. I love these colors. Long scarf. Pink and green nautical. And that one has a couple spots as well, but nothing, nothing horrifying. And then we've got um, 
uh, a houndstooth, uh, perfumes, luggage, purses. On to clothing? On to clothing. Guys, did you notice Sarah cut bangs? We had a whole conversation about it before. I don't know if I'll splice that in or not. Yes, I got drunk yesterday and cut myself some bangs. Do you know how many times I've had a martini and I'm like, you know what's a good idea right now? Bangs. Oh, it happened. And, um, you know, there are a lot of decisions that I regret from yesterday. But well, what else did you do? It is just the garlic. Oh, Sarah said that she ate like an entire leg of garlic. I, so it was Sunday. But like, I, I, and I came here and I worked for, I don't know, like four hours or something. And, but I, I, I wake up early. So I was here, you know, I mean, I was home by like lunchtime and, um, and I got home and all I had was coffee and my, my husband made me a drink and, um, and we made like, like a cheese type situation. And, um, and then I, I had a bunch of garlic. I was like, I'm going to roast this garlic. This is this a is three piece, really a three piece item. And, um, and so, and so, um, so we did it and it was really good. But by the time I was done with the first, like, you know, 10 cloves of garlic that I roasted, I was done with my drink and I was really feeling drunk. And so I made the rest of the bag of garlic mm. and ate it and it was delicious. And then I felt awful did the you, rest of the day. Did you, uh, so there, like, cause now I'm craving this. Now I want to go to the, the store and buy already peeled garlic so it yeah. makes my life a little bit easier and get a bunch of like mini um like or get like a baguette mm -hmm. and then and then you just and then you just you put oil on and then you <gasps> smear it yes that's what i did <sighs> and it was delicious i just don't recommend doing it on an empty stomach with well, a big also, huge gin drink can it like can doing that can having that much garlic like mess with your insides probably but I hear garlic is so good for it like, is, and I, so I remember saying this to Ryan, like the whole time that I was like, this is good. Garlic is great for your skin. It's really great for your skin and your immune She's system. like rubbing it all over her. <laughs> and it is, it is That's great, great for, for your skin and, pores. and your immune system. Um, again, I just, I just ate too much of it and I only had that in the drink. And I was looking at myself and I was just like, you know what? I need bangs. And, um. And so I cut them. So it is what yeah. it is. I can always pull them back. Well, I, that's what I do because right now I've got bangs. I don't, so I, don't, I don't mind bangs. I don't mind them. I just do. I, I do. I wish that um, maybe I had gotten them done professionally. Yeah. Yeah, and I can go. Um, you're gonna need a slip under this, but this is absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. The zipper is halfway down the middle. It's gonna be like an extra, extra small. It's very small. Um, yeah, I have a hair best. appointment, but it's not until next week. Skirt. Um, and I didn't feel like calling them and being like, Hey, can I move my hair appointment up? Because it's fine. You know, I've only had to do that once in my life that I was dyeing my hair red and I, and I royally messed it up. And, um, I had like an audition or something, you know, like two days later and I had to call a place and I was like, can you see me today? Can you see me today? I messed up my hair really bad. And he was like, oh my God. <laughs> I've never been, I don't think I've ever been unhappy with my hair dye, but haircuts, I, I never, I'm never a fan um, for the first couple days. Jacket. I got a really cute haircut um, about a month ago. I wanted um, like bangs and then like, you know, 70s kind of like shag and, and oh my gosh, and she did such a great job styling it. And I was like, I left there feeling so good. And then, yeah, after the first wash, I still, and, and I'm not a, uh, I'm a rollers person, so I don't use a curling iron. And I feel like with this hairstyle, I, it, I have to get a curling iron. Oh. And I just never, I just haven't used one in so long because it's so much easier for me to put my hair in rollers. And rollers yeah. Um, and then, you know. That go on with my air wrap is all over the place. That thing is like 800 bucks. Is it? Yes. I didn't think it was that. I it mean, is. I knew it was expensive. I didn't think it was. Like it's expensive because I looked it up. I mean, it maybe make 600. But I mean, it's, it's, it's. I mean, like a hundred to me sounds that, crazy. Yeah. 
Um, but I mean, I've seen what it does and it's really cute. This is really cute and I feel like it's not being done justice. You know, this belt comes with it. It's really cute. Like, it's really cute. This is another set, comes with um, short sleeved um, white to top, open jacket and skirt. Oh no, I just noticed this. There's a tiny little stain. We'll try to work on that. I hate when that happens. I just feel like the older the item, the more likely it's gonna have a spot or two. And this comes off as well. Gray seersucker set. Man, I'm so hungry now. You made me so hungry. Is that got coffee? Oh, because of garlic. No, because of the garlic. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so, and I know, like, maybe I can convince. So, Joe's car is currently at the shop, so I know I'm going to have to take him there um, sometime, and then maybe I can convince him um, we can stop at Publix or something and get, but, um, get the garlic stuff. Cause we also need to get, we need to go to Costco and get toilet paper and like those and like paper towels and stuff. Um, but, um, we have our, we have, you know, we just got our Hello Freshes yesterday. So we've got to make those. I love this set. Yeah. I just really love this color. So this is a jacket um, pant set. Really pretty green. The pants are rather long. I'm 5'9", and it hits me, uh, uh, it hits the floor. FYI. This has pockets as well. Was really cute too. Would this fit me? I think this is the one that I was like interested in last time. Yeah. But um, another pants jacket set. This is royal blue house dress. It's got some pockets. Do you want to talk about Juliet's love letter? Oh, so Juliet, my daughter, who is eight, um, she has a boyfriend. His name is, is, is Jacob. He's adorable. We've had like little play dates with him and, um, she talks about him all the time. She's very into, she's very into Jacob and he is, you know, from what I can see, you know, very into her as well. Um, she, she is a flirt and she's always been a flirt. I mean, ever since she was little, 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 and she came home the other day and was saying, Oh no, I have three Valentines. I have three Valentines. And Ryan and I were like, mm, you, Jay, you know what do you mean answer Valentine? She's like, well, three people have asked me. Um, Jacob and Luke and I think Ryder. I can't remember the third one. Mm -hmm. And um and Juliet also, she does this, she does this thing where she always looks like she's lying. She always looks like I mean, like, you'd be anything. Like, like, you'd be like, what's your, what's your name? Like, you come up to me, what's your name? And you're like, Sarah. And it's like, it's not a lie. I don't know why she does this. It's, but it's for so many things that we're like, hey, Juliet, did you brush your teeth? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I brushed my teeth. And you're like, you didn't brush your teeth. And you're trying to, she did, but it's weird. So she's looking like this when I'm like, you know, Jay, did three boys really ask you to be their Valentine's? Because if so, then, you know, you might hurt feelings. Blah, blah. And she's like, mm, yeah, yeah. But she, she looks so much like she's lying that I finally was yeah. like, I feel like, you know, you're, you're lying a lot lately and it bothers me and it makes me sad. And she's like, I can prove it. So she goes to her backpack and she comes, this is during dinner time too. So we're all sitting there together kind of laughing at this point. And she breaks out this note that this boy Luke has written her that says, you know, Juliet, will you be my Valentine? Check yes or no. And, um, and then underneath he wrote, he drew a picture of his face with like heart eyes. 
And um, I already showed this. I just yeah. velvet. Um, and and Juliet below it wrote, "I don't know." And then she drew a picture of herself with like one thought bubble going up with a picture of Luke, and another one going up with a picture of Jacob, who wears glasses. But this other one's wearing glasses, and she's crying in the picture, going like, <laughs> "I don't know what to do." She's I don't I and you know we just told her like you need to figure it out make a decision like make a decision you're yeah. gonna and you gotta it, it's gotta be okay you someone's probably gonna get their feelings well, also hurt. Jacob's her boyfriend but if you do it in, like oh. she's like she says that he's her boyfriend but she's like well, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings I mean no it's, like you're going okay, to hurt cute. someone's feelings but as long as you do it in an honest way and you know oh, you yeah. don't string them along and then my sweet son was talking about asking this girl out for like a week yeah. and we were like and he's in fifth grade and we were like well does she like you too and he's like yes she definitely likes me i see the way she looks at me we interact really well she definitely likes me and ryan and i both said you know you don't have to ask her out like you know it doesn't have to be boyfriend girlfriend like you can just like her and like spend time with her because you guys aren't going anywhere mm -hmm. he's like, no, no no you don't understand what it's like we you know it's it's boyfriend girlfriend well that's i mean I think I had my first boyfriend in fifth grade. Yeah. That it was like, well, and we would go, they had, we had a, uh, we lived on base and we had a YMCA yeah. and yeah. the movie theater. And so all, and it, and it was on base. So it was like everybody, you know, was a military kid. And, you know, your parents would just drop you off at the YMCA, you know, at six o'clock and pick you up at eight, you know? Um, and so you, all, like, I just wanted somebody to go to those dances with. And um, his name was Brandon. I won't say his last name because I don't. I don't need him. I don't need him getting any crap. But um, Brandon asked me out, and he was like that boy that that like had a different girlfriend every single month, and and you knew that he was your boyfriend because he would let you wear his Atlanta Braves um, <laughs> jacket. So anyway, uh, so Julie, so Harrison asked out this girl, and she said no. And he still won't talk to us about it. So this is like a long, like, half cam. And, uh, but so he's having to sit through dinner listening to Juliet. Like, all these boys are so in love with me. And it's because I'm a nice person. And blah, blah, blah. And so I feel, I feel for him. Yeah. I do. Um, but I don't know. I'm surprised he just hasn't, um mentioned like exactly what happens to you guys and so I, that's like, why I don't think these are so I love this yeah so this um, is cor a corduroy um corduroy um skirt yeah but um I'm trying to think about what what you would call this I mean caramel but it's not a caramel brown yeah I mean brown but there's so many different shades of brown yeah so I, I feel for him but I'm gonna I'm doing the thing because every year you know you see the Pinterest you know stuff and, and like you know the good moms who they they do this thing where every day of february like february 1st to the 14th you cut out a heart and you write something that you love about your kids on it and you put it on their door and sometimes Aww. you get them little presents and i've always wanted to do it and i've just never gotten it together in time um but i got it together this year and um because tomorrow's the first isn't it yeah yeah so i need to um so that's all i'll do this afternoon because i have all the supplies also, this this is a jumpsuit. I feel like I'm talking too much and not. But it's really super, super cute. Yeah, okay. that fit my butt. Um, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of blazers. Polyester, mainly. So I'm going to do that for them, and hopefully that'll yeah. make them feel good about themselves. Um, I remember when we would wake up in the morning on Val- Ah, not our butters. When we would wake up um, every morning on Valentine's Day- our dad would have like a box of chocolates Candies. laid out for us or like a big yeah. jar of candy. You're like, oh, that's really sweet. That's because Ryan always gets Juliet flowers too. Yeah. I mean, all I wanted on Valentine's like I remember being a kid and all I ever wanted was just a boyfriend on Valentine's Day. Like I went in the every more, like, like every single Valentine's Day, I, I would pick like, like the cutest vest. outfit. And this was, you know, probably from like, sixth grade up until my senior year of high school like a little 70s sheath um I'd wear white. like a pretty red dress or pink dress or something and I went in being like and I never had a boyfriend on Valentine's Day I never had a boyfriend on Valentine's Day um 
and I was always hoping that somebody would put like a secret note in my locker and it never happened. It, I, it never happened. And it could be just because I was so socially awkward. Um, but I also, because this is how socially awkward I was. I remember I would fill up a bag of like a gift bag of Hershey kisses and hugs. And I'd go around to like everyone and I'd be like, hey, do you want to make out? And they'd be like, what? And I'd be like, ha, 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 ha. here, have some candy. <laughs> Because it's like hugs and kisses. Yeah, that might have been. <laughs> might have been part of it. And I'm like, Mom, I just don't understand why I don't have some a boyfriend. And she's like, detective skills here. She's like, Karen, <laughs> it's fine. You don't need a boyfriend. And I'm like, I need a boyfriend. I oh god. Even when I had a boyfriend, I was still like, I remember my first boyfriend in high school, Josh. Um, so so I remember we were allowed to you know chat online. And I never knew what to say to Josh. So Sarah would pretend to be me and would just like chat with Josh and stuff. And I'd be like, ha he thinks I'm so funny. Um, and then I remember we went to a park and Josh was another one of those guys that the belt, the belt. everyone. Um, not the one that died, is he? No. Um, well, one of Which Josh, one Josh Sessoms. Which I did. Uh, it was another Josh who passed away in a car accident at like, like 20 but um uh but this josh um oh my gosh i had the biggest crush on him from seventh seventh grade eighth grade and then and then the summer before ninth grade we were all at a party and he asked me out but like he was so popular and i i didn't know how to talk to him I, I, it was i was so awkward so awkward we were at my friend andrea's house at a pool party and I remember just like sitting there and, and him sitting next to me and us just holding hands and not talking at all. And then first day, freshman year, I walk in and I will never forget, he, he was on the right side of the auditorium with like his friends. And then I saw my friends on the left side and I just like beelined it for my friends. And we were going out. Like we were going out. I, mean, I think that's pretty typical. And but I was like, I mean, I, I was... 14 then 14 but I just I had no idea how to just be be chill so anyway share your awkward dating stories with us Well, now it's quiet. Now I feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is polyester. It looks jean, looks denim, but it is polyester. It sounds like a phone is ringing. It's probably the mouse. Oh my gosh. Don't tell them we have a mouse. We do. He's living. He lives where the air conditioning unit is. Yeah. And we actually, what happened was... I mean, it was like a year ago, probably when it got cold again, um, we had a mouse come in and I tried to do the, you know, the humane traps for him. Wasn't happening. He was chewing up a bunch of insulation and just pooping everywhere in this like closet. And so we had to call, you know, our pest service. So they came out and they put a glue trap and I came here one morning and I was working and I opened it up and I saw that it was the rat and it was trapped in the glue, which is, if you guys have ever seen this, it is horrifying and inhumane. So I call Karen and her husband and I'm, I'm pretty much hysterical. Okay. I like can't stop crying. Cause we crying. live like five minutes down yeah. the road. I can't from... stop crying. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get it out of this trap. And it's so adorable. And what are we going to do? Blah, blah, blah. And Karen's like, you need to call the extremist. They're going to come. They're going to get it from you but they were worried enough that they like came over here because they thought I was gonna like you know go, yeah go nuts so we call the extreme and he comes out and 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 also when they take it out now I don't have a ton of experience with mice and rats and stuff like that but Karen lived in New York she had a lot we of had went like every day and so so when the guy comes the exterminator comes in and he's and he gets it and and I had said I said to him I was like so are you going to try to like get it out of the glue? And he's literally like, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, and he like looks at me like he like <laughs> doesn't take at me because I had also worked like not worked with him, but but he, he I was the one that dealt with him <laughs> like crying, when he first okay. came over, and so he's kind of like looking at me because he knows me a little bit better, and he's like. <laughs> And um, what? and after he was gone, I said to Karen, so I was like, he threw it away, didn't he? And they're like, yeah. And Karen says, Sarah, also, that's not a little mouse. Because I told him, I was like, it's a little baby mouse. No. And it's so adorable. She's like, Sarah, that's like a rat. And when I think back to it, I, I guess I can see that it was pretty big. It was bigger than, than a small mouse. But I'd say. But it's still, like. Like the size of my. No, that's really still really big. So anyways, my whole point is that. It has never come out of the closet, okay? And is it gross that it poofs in there? A halter. A halter. Yes. And when I say closet, it's not even a closet. It's the air conditioning unit is is in mm -hmm. the wall, and then there's a door. And when you open it, it's the air conditioning unit, and there's, like, a small section that's, like, insulated. And the mouse goes in there, and he eats some of the insulation, and sometimes he poops. And it's gross. Yes, I get it. But it's also really cold outside, so I'm just going to wait until it warms up a bit, and then we will call him. Cause he never comes out. He just, you know, we don't, also we don't eat in here. Like I know I have a coffee right now, but we don't, yeah. we don't have food in the house. Like, I don't know. He's literally just coming in to be warm. So this is a set. It's red pants. And then the top and actually, so it, you know, it's like a tunic top. Um, but when I was here the other day, I was in the, I was near it, and I heard, I heard, like, PJ's basically a bang, and this has one small spot, but it is absolutely, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Um, let me see where the spot is. It's like here. So it's on, it's like right there, and it's on the, it's like teeny tiny. Okay, so um, it's on the overlay, so this yeah. is the... So it's, it's a two piece. Um, so I think it's a big one. Oh my God, that's horrible. But, and, you know, I, but I didn't even know it was in there until I opened it up and saw that, you know, there were some little poops. So when, there's a jumpsuit. Um, so I've been living in New York a long time. At one point I had three roommates and then one of them, he and I decided to get um, a, a, a smaller place together. And it was like a newly renovated apartment, absolutely gorgeous. Um, um, and the, but this was also like Joe and I were kind of talking about moving in together. And so I was spending I was spending time at his apartment, like maybe like two nights at a, at a time. But um, I came back one day um, to a like like I had a chocolate bar on my windowsill you know, like in, like in cardboard, like one of those, like, you know, fancy ones. And I, um, noticed that it had been, that had been chewed through and I was like, Oh no, a mouse. And so it was on my, like near my desk on my windowsill. And then I kind of like looked down and I noticed that there was a ton of poop right next to my desk. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like I, like this was the first time we had ever seen a mouse in our, like I'd already been living there for like three months. But, um, I'm cl so then I get the dustpan and I'm cleaning up the poop and I'm on the floor and I, my head turns and I see my laundry basket, you know, which is a small laundry basket. It's New York. So, you know, it's not a huge one, but it's plastic and it has like the little, you know, it's like the holes, you know, in the plastic laundry bags. Yeah. Um, and my laundry is full and I turn my head and this close to me, I see a dead mouse Ew. in my laundry basket. Like, so like, like its body is like this, you know, around the hole in the laundry basket. So it had gotten trapped in my laundry basket and just like pooped everywhere because it was, you know, its butt was on one side and then its head was on the other. And I called Joe and that guy came over so fast. He like, he like had gloves and stuff as he was coming up the stairs because it was a, the a fifth floor walk up. But I was like, I can't, like, like, I can't deal with this. I can't. And so Joe like helped me take my clothes out and helped me clean it up. And, and that was great. And then we moved in together, like, you know, a couple months later. And then we had a stint of uh, killing a mouse. I want to say like every single day. 
every single day and we were talking to our landlord who was, you know, absolute crap. And we were telling him, we think he's coming in from behind the stove. You've got to get an exterminator to like, like do whatever he needs to do behind the stove. And he just was not listening to us. And we were, we were, we were killing a mouse like almost every single day. Um, and it's interesting because a lot of my friends made the mass exodus out of the city. Um, but some of them are still there. And, you know, one of, one of my friends who lives in Queens still, and another one of our friends who, um, uh, like lives now in, in Wisconsin, but, um, she was saying how much she misses New York. And I was like, I, I do miss New York in a, in a sense, but I miss what, it, what it was. And then I, however, am now at the point where I realized how much I put up with in New York to be like, oh man, we live in a rent controlled apartment. It's you know, a hundred year old apartment right next to the train station. Um, you know, we were next door to like all of our friends and, and our you know, local bar. And it's just like, you make that excuse. You're like, oh yeah, sure. I'll live with mice. I'll listen. I'll hear a mouse in the wall as I'm falling asleep just because it was like, oh, but we live in New York. Yeah. Do you, are you on those? TikToks where it's like sometimes people ask these have pants. come back to these New York pants. you know I just I just, just love the ambiance oh. blah, blah, blah. and it's always like there's something awful yeah happening um um one of my friends just posted a video because apparently now's the season where a lot of manhole covers explode um or just you know like shoot up and one shot up right next to her apartment and um it's on fire. It's on fire. And so she was kind of like, you know, and apparently she researched it and it's something that happens, you know, a lot right now, this time of year in New York. And, and it's because like, essentially the city's on fire underneath. And she's like, great. I'm so happy to be like living. Well, and I saw, yeah, I saw something that they were like, they've discovered like stuff underneath New York. Yeah. Did you read that? What I did not that? read that. But I believe it. Because somebody had said, oh my gosh, they're going to discover like a new species of people or something. That, that's for real. That is so, that's like, I don't know. That's a, that's a very I real know. thing. That, uh, um, I mean, there, but I do. Like, I, I lived in New York in my 20s and, and like, in some of my 30s. And it was the best. I definitely made the most out of it. And then, it, and then it started becoming where I wasn't making the most out of it. And I wasn't seeing as much theater as I wanted to. I wasn't going out. And it was because, like, you know. Again, thank God you I, I you worked. Did. You know, I worked. And I and Joe and I would be tired. And we just want to go to, like, our local bar right down, you know, right yeah. below us. And that's where we would hang out with our friends. And. Let me see this yellow one. Huh? Why do you like it? Um, but, but yeah, this is really, mm -hmm. super short. Oh, I like this. It's very long, flowy, ethereal. My turn? No. You, you snooze, you lose, sister. Joe and I started watching Peacemaker last night. Uh, we've seen the first two episodes. And that's so. That's where I'm at. The first two. This and Joe. Joe apparently he he was he was recently in California, and so he um he watched it. He watched the first four episodes on the plane, and he was like, last night when he got back, he goes, "Will you please watch Peacemaker? It's so funny. It's you're gonna absolutely love it." And I had to be reminded of what happened in Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't, I couldn't remember. Like Joe had to remind me. Um, if you had told me that John Cena, like this would have been his career path, I would have been like, "You're out of your mind." See, I think he's done. I thought he had done a lot of stupid comedy stuff. But when he was in his heyday of being like a wrestler, a wrestler. in like in like early two thousands and whatnot, yeah. I, you know, it's just he's he's. It's very funny. Did you watch The Boys? No. 
it I feel like it's it's similar it's similar in like the comedy style to that but I really I really like James Gunn yeah um so that's why we watched I wasn't as huge a fan of Peacemaker as some of his other stuff but um but we'll probably finish it up yeah well we, we've got that and we're doing Ozark um, we're only, we're in the second season now. Um, yeah, it's because, it, because we watched the first couple episodes and then we somehow, for some reason, I think it was because we moved, we were moving wow. and we, and we just stopped watching it. It can also be hard. I mean, it's a lot. It's, it's heavy. It's heavy. Well, and so Joe wanted to watch something else. So, cause we also started Succession. And then there was one other thing that he wanted to start and it was another drama. And I was like, I can't, I was like, I can't handle that because we were also watching Superstore and we just finished Superstore. And so we're kind of like craving something funny, you know, to kind of like break yeah. up, um, break up that drama because it is, it is so heavy. Um, and Superstore is great. If you are not watching that and you're looking for, um, a comedy it's so funny we just started watching afterlife with ricky gervais oh how's that i like it um you know ryan had never you saw his golden globe speech right yeah yeah so ryan had never seen that and he started we started watching afterlife and it's kind of i mean it's it's similar if you haven't seen the ricky gervais um golden globe speech where he just kind of calls everybody out it, it's worth it's worth a watch it's mm. really it's really funny um and it made me definitely like him um, a lot. I think it takes a lot for any kind of actor to go against the, um, the narrative. The brain, yeah. Um, but, um, but, and it's similar, it's a, it's a little bit similar to that, that he, it's immediately off the bat, just, you know, forget about political correctness and, and it's, it's fun. But so I had Ryan watch that speech though, and he was, oh. he thought it was funny yeah, as well. Yeah, I, I, I think he's a funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> like something Meredith would wear. Meredith is our, Meredith is our other sister. <laughs> she is. Oh my gosh. Should I pull something else or should I pull from you? What are we at? 32. So we're probably, we're probably at an hour. Ah, you guys. guys super cute. I worked out a little too hard the other day and my, my thighs are they're, I'm dying. I'm dying right now. I could not sleep last night. Also, because Joe snores and he's got to do something about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I know. Like I, I, uh, if, we, we need to, if we had, if we had a guest room, I'd be sleeping in the guest room. Well, and so I think I, like maybe that's what we'll like eventually what we'll go to. But I like, like there's such a stigma about about, about couples sleeping in different bedrooms we we need to get rid of that stigma because some people snore some yeah. people just thrash around in bed i've got a couple um, of friends that they yeah. sleep in separate bedrooms because it, it, it's true like i'm waking up you know and the thing is is that like so i have my earbuds in because i'm always listening to something before i go to bed um so that my crippling anxiety isn't what um are the last words that i'm hearing before i go to bed so even with those in, I can hear him and, and I have to sometimes just like, m like move him or just like, like do one of these, you know, and it's waking him up. So, I mean, if you guys have got any remedies because a nose job, I know, um, For those breathe right strips. I know. And he's like, he's like, Oh yeah, I've got some, I've got some. But yeah, something's got to give regarding the snoring because I did not get a wink of sleep last night. And also because my legs were, my legs were killing me. Um, oh, pardon my reach. Nobody better have taken a screenshot of my triple chin. You don't have it. I know. It's funny because sometimes we get screenshots and we're like, oh, that's humbling. <laughs> I feel like some of you do your best to find like the worst, <laughs> the worst possible moment. You'll send this and you're like, I don't really want this. I just wanted you to see what you look like. And and so and, and I'll take a screenshot of it and send it to Sarah and be like, ha ha ha. <laughs> it is funny. what it is. You can't you can't always look perfect. Do I wish I was 22 again? Yes. No. I do not wish I was 22 again. 
I, I like, oh, nor, nor do I wish I had the body of my 22 self because I feel like I had, like, that I, like, yeah, I was super skinny, but I look back at pictures of me and I'm like, oh my God. And I, like, my body dysmorphia was, like, at its highest. I always knew that I was really cute when I was younger. It's why it's difficult. Oh. These days sometimes See. to get into a bathing suit and <gasps> be like, oh this my This is not a pay promo, not a pay promo, but if they want to, <laughs> cup she. C-U-P-S-H-E. I thought that was like sheen. Oh, is it? I thought so. Oh, well, now I've, I feel bad. No, well, I've, I've never ordered from them and I haven't ordered from them because no, I've read things that say... Uh -huh. Maybe I'm th I might be thinking of something else. Okay, I'll research. I didn't research. I, like, I would gotten an ad or something, and then I saw, like, because I need, I, I, like, needed new bathing suits, and I wanted one pieces, and these look, they look absolutely gorgeous. So, sorry if I'm I don't contributing know. to fas fashion in that, in that sense, but, um, they, I, because normally I don't like wearing a bathing suit oh, no, either. I, I, when I say it's like sheen, I mean that it's one of those things where they put other people's products. And again, I'm, I might but be then that's, of that's like the else. fast fashion, like, um, well, it is, but also it's one of, like, it's like, this is oh, what I well, ordered and then this is what I got. Oh, and it's do like, you mean like, um, wish, like how wish yeah, is? Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, well, I got what I ordered. And the thing is, is that I, um, I looked at a lot of bathing suits, and I tr and I picked the ones that had the best reviews. Oh, so you already ordered from them? Yeah, I, and I got them oh, in. Okay, so no, it's fine. Oh yeah, and um, but never have I felt like so comfortable Aww. in a bathing suit before yeah, wearing it. Um, I'll I'll send you. I can send you the link of like the ones that I got because they're just they're so flattering. I, yeah, I I I'm not a bathing suit lover. Um, you have to be the living in Florida. But the amount of times that I'm actually, like, honestly, the only time I wear a bathing suit is when we go over to my, our mom and dad's. Do you guys want to go to the beach? No. Do you know how many creatures are in the ocean? We don't always go in the ocean. Well, I mean, I do with the kids. But also, but... it's just, like, messy. The beach is messy. It is. It is messy. <laughs> and, and and my alabaster skin can't really handle that um, amount of direct sunlight. I'm trying to be better about wearing SPF, moisturizer with SPF, moisturizing in general, doing some under eye creams. I'm looking into, I'm getting, I told Karen I'm getting a facial tomorrow, like it's an intensive facial that's supposed to help lift. Um, because the next thing is um, Cabela, mm -hmm. Cabela. Mm -hmm. And um, Which I, I I'm about. nervous about that because I've heard that the recovery is like, it hurts and that it can last up to like three weeks. And I'm like, I don't really want to have to deal with that. If you guys have, if any of you have done it, let me know and let me know what your recovery was like. I'm trying to think if any of my friends have done it. I don't think so. I don't think that they've yeah. done that just yet. But I mean, we all, I mean, we talk about it and... You know, anyway, guys, if you have any questions, because this month is kind of bananas yeah. and bonkers and different and, and so, going forward again, changes. If you are a Lorene and you want to get your subscription this month, you have to be a charge now by the 5th, which we know is not going to work for everybody because some people get paid on the 10th or the 15th. We understand that. We apologize. It's simply, it's just time constraints and, um, and an inability to shop a lot more within the next three weeks for me. So, um. So yeah, and um, would they be able to sign up for a Lorene after the fifteenth? The possibly we're gonna Karen's making the the listing today, and we might make like a couple available just to kind of have a couple available. But um, we need to see how many charge nows we have first. Um, yeah. Regarding uh, the amount regarding of regarding the amount of clothing, yeah, and um, supply. And again, for Marie's, if you want to be a charge now and you want to, um, you know, if you want your date to just be the date that you do a charge now go ahead and sign up on the new site redbirdvintage.com um and um and we'll get your your profile stuff moved over mm -hmm. yeah but again any questions just email info at redbirdvintagebox.com yeah. um instagram items should be up for request right now yeah i'm just trying to stretch can anything happen? Like, I'm afraid of my leg. so i had one i think we told you that then this that like my my calf like almost exploded after a job and yeah so I'm just always worried about like my muscles and uh, so basically my calf popped like a like a muscle popped and it and it caused 
you know, a lot of pain and damage. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm uh, so I am just like worried about like stretching and and like I don't want to hurt myself and it's hurting right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up before Karen <laughs> drops dead. Um, all right, girls, thanks for watching and um, all right, see you request, later. Request away.